So I always get asked about my music videos. Once upon a time, I used to have nothing but fun before I had any millionaire students and I was just trying to get people involved in trading. Now I'm overloaded because of my now 25 millionaire students. You can click the link below to join my challenge. That's where I do all my technical teaching. But I still come on here uh, with teachings and I gotta have fun too. And I wanna put all of my music videos in one place. Yes, I did music videos. I had big dream, no. I just did them as like, you know, a joke. Um, I don't know, I, I had these, uh, these weird, weird analogies that I used to make to just try to get people to understand like the intricacies of trading. My first music video, I was really pissed about the SEC rules at the time. I was a hedge fund manager and you weren't allowed to talk about your strategy, you weren't allowed to talk about uh, your performance openly. That's basically what got me into teaching because I was like, this shouldn't be like a state secret. I should just be able to talk freely, you know? First Amendment, right? So I made this little music video called You Gotta Fight For Your Rights In Finance. Check it out. Do you like money? Yeah. You can get into stock trading and make lots of profits. I hope no bad industry rules get in the way. Biz, then you get shut down. You ask the SEC, but they just frown. Can't find investors means less profits. It doesn't even matter if you have an audit. You gotta fight. For your rights in finance You're not a rich man, so no hedge funds Only option is bullish mutual funds Man, trading by the rules is such bullshit Cause the PDT hurts your potential profit Busted You gotta fight For your rights In finance Free speech, you gonna care I'll kick you out of finance If you don't promise not to swear So does money back to say What's your beef? Oh man, it's about time for freedom of speech You gotta fight for your rights in finance You gotta fight for your rights in finance So that was my first uh, music video. The gentleman in that video um, helped like make it. You know, I'm not like that much of a singer or I'm not into 
music, mu musicals. I'm not into musical instruments. I'm not a video editor. He like made it all. I think his name was Glenn. And I vaguely remember, because I get a lot of people coming out of the blue after a while now that like my teachings have paid off. And I do believe, don't quote me exactly, but I do believe that Glenn in that video has made either six or seven figures still trading the kind of stocks that I, I showed him to. I haven't like taught him in a while. I haven't even talked to him. I don't even know his name. I think it's Glenn. I don't know. Um, don't quote me, but I did get a message from him out of the blue and he did really well and that made me happy. Um, second music video, uh, I don't know if this was in the right order, but this was when I used to be a short seller, chronological order, I don't know. Um, I used to be a short seller and I used to short a lot of pump and dumps and the number one problem with shorting pump and dumps is you couldn't find shares to short. Now it's not a problem. Now there's many brokers with a lot of shares to short. They've created fee structures, locate fees, borrow fees, none of which existed in the beginning. Um, I credit my top student, Tim Bratani, for turning 1500 now into 16 million. His story going viral on CNN, Fox, um, and you know now my now 25 millionaire students, more and more of them have made money shorting. I've made millions shorting. But in this music video specifically, I was very pissed off that I couldn't find any borrows. So I made this video for me and everyone like me called No Borrow, No Cry.
And if you notice in that video, I mentioned a lot of tickers. Look them up. They don't exist anymore. There were over 70 pumps that collapsed. So it's kind of funny when these promoters these days say like, you're wrong, this company is different. No, it's not. We know how all the pumps end. We have historical examples galore. The only people who don't realize it are those who don't study history, those too lazy, those too incompetent, newbies. So this is why I teach. Again, click the link below, join my challenge. I know this is a fun video featuring my music videos, but I actually teach very technical stuff. This is why I don't even have time for music videos anymore. Kind of sad, I'm all grown up. There is actually another one that, that we can't show. Um, it was a little controversial, but what can you do? I'm not even gonna mention it. I'm not even gonna go into details. It was just controversial. It was a good, it was a good video, but it was just controversial. Um, this next video, not controversial, just good, plain old fun. And this is with my ex and I dancing around drunk in Greece, and we decided to make a music video that day. Um, and I think it's just a good, positive video. Like it's, it's you know, very spirited. And, uh, you know, trading can be fun, especially if you play by the rules and you learn how to use it to maximize your life. Whether you're a part-time trader or a full-time trader, whether you wanna make a million or just a, a little extra money, whether you don't even wanna trade and you just wanna learn about finance. Um, trading really has opened my mind to the possibilities and maybe in the beginning of my teaching career and certainly my trading career, I didn't see all these um, you know, different aspects of trading. Now I do and it can be fun. So check out this video. This is me dancing in Greece and having fun. Sometimes I push it too far. I kid, I kid, I joke with you. Come on, come on. I have fun with it. Um, some of these music videos you'll find if you watch my DVDs, I put them in at random spots because I know studying finance can get a little boring. You gotta have fun with your education. So I know I say no days off and study hard all the time, but if you ever feel like you're getting burnt out, take a break, okay? This is a marathon, not a sprint. There's always gonna be a market. There's always gonna be new opportunities. So I'm glad to try to share with you what I've learned. Maybe in the future, I'll make some more music videos. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you want more music videos. Let's see how many people out there want that or if you just want more technical stuff. I can do both. Have a good day.